Hi, I'm Nearly Anderthal, and this is going to be my blind let's play of Age of Wonder Planetfall. Uh, pretty curious about this game. Uh, been wanting to dabble more in strategy games ever since I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem recently. Uh, historically, not super into them. And the reason I'm prefacing this that way is because uh, if you're going to come into this really expecting a high level play, or you're really into strategy games, you might find what you're about to see kind of frustrating at times because I am pretty new to strategy games and especially these kind of big grand strategy games. So first things first, uh, I mean, you kind of get to choose your race up front. I don't know if you can kind of jump back and forth between campaigns, but either way, we're going to start with the, <clears throat> not the humans, the vanguard, and we're going to jump in. Uh, I have done the tutorial level, basically, basically, big, some sort of big gravity wave swept through the solar system and wiped out a bunch of stuff, so we've been in cryosleep for about 200 years, returning back to our kind of big home base planet here, Leave 6. Um, I'm gonna play on advanced difficulty just to challenge myself, and we're gonna customize our commander, obviously. I'll leave a timestamp that skips this in case you don't give a damn because I am known to uh, get distracted in character customization somewhat. But I think I know what I want to do already pretty much, which is pretty much to leave things the way... I don't know. I, I was going to do kind of a very military aggressive approach, but I like the idea of science and diplomacy a lot too. So... These are basically all perks for your commander, and right now he has a military detachment, you have a larger starting army uh, that's recommended. This diamond is like recommended options, basically. Close combat. Klepto. And then these are vices, you can basically get benefits for uh, picking things that are detrimental. I think we'll just leave everything as it starts there and then... I customize our guy here. I always like to randomize it first. Get get to grips with our options. Oh my god. He's pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Robert Lister? Vincent Gladstone. Is he the fucking one? <laughs> We'll at least start there. We'll, we'll start there. What kind of hairstyles are there? <laughs> got like cornrows. Got the bun. Top knot kind of thing. I kind of... I kind of love that. Which one did he start with? He started with not that one. That one. He had that one. I like that a lot. I kind of like him with the longer hair too, though. I might be biased. Vincent Gladstone. Oh, what kind of clothes can give him? I don't know if I love that torso piece. Ooh. Very sci-fi, very sci-fi. Lots of good options here. Maybe we leave him with the jacket? Can you have the jacket and a cape? That's a little ridiculous. We'll, we'll skip the cape if we're going with the long jacket. Highly technological pants. Ah, uh, I don't know. I kind of like these too. Like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Are there matching pants for that? Those kind of match. Those go. <coughs> okay. Oh, the accessories, the aviators. We can't touch that. Um... Uh, Normal white dude is, is kind of fine with me, but 
could roll a dope-ass black dude. Or a, a pale, sickly character. We'll just go, go with something like that. Vincent Gladstone. Uh, okay, we get to pick our, like, emblem here. We get a primary, secondary, and then... Oh, a symbol. The symbol, the symbol will decide a lot about who we are as a society. Or not. I don't know. Vincent Gladstone, what would he pick? He'd probably pick this eagle or this star. Not the, not the fist so much. Lots of cool spacey ones. Uh, I think he's more, he's got more of a, uh, aviator vibe going. I think maybe the eagle. Let's see. Black is cool. Oh, that's very aviation right there. Well, that's also like Seahawks right there, but uh, I'm not really into the Seahawks anymore, so I don't want to be a pretender there. That's very like kind of Air Forcey, very military. Oh, his clothes match the primary color you choose too. Ah, this is important. I want to keep that simple. Red is cool. White is cool. That's pretty. The white and black eagle. White and red eagle. Brown. White bull. Black. Oh, that kind of steel gray color. Okay. Okay. Vincent Gladstone. Take me in. No, we've wasted almost Commander's ten minutes. Commander's personal record: Vanguard Expeditionary Forces. Cryo sleep cycle completed. No casualties. Time since launch: 197 years. We're finally back. 197 After a storm years. storm destroyed our hyperspace passage, we had to take the long way around. Most of us joined the Vanguard to escape our past. Two centuries should be enough to give everybody a clean slate. So kind of. Kind of a mercenary thing? Kind of it sounds like a private Time military. To contact Vanguard Central Command. We're heading for Leave Six, the military transit hub in this section of the borderlands. The crew Maybe is already it's official speculating military. about visiting Hard to the tell. Elysium parks. Gambling, booze, and promiscuous androids. Promiscuous oh, well. androids. Two centuries of sleep. It's time for some fun. Oh yeah. Vincent Gladstone's here to party. Commander's first time to something is wrong. <clears throat> we have reached the Leaf Six star system, but instead of orbital patrol, there was only scattered wreckage awaiting our arrival. Shit. While searching for survivors, we spotted a ship of unknown configuration. Entering the planet's atmosphere, it ignored our hails. Uh oh. Residual void interference prevents us from scanning the surface. Void interference. That's the basically in the tutorial it talks about the there's you come down on a planet, they're doing some kind of experimental science, or with like a mini black hole, they're calling it like a void event. But basically, when this gravity wave sweeps through the solar system, you're saved because this void absorbs a lot of the energy. But then you have to truck out of there because it starts to blow up and envelop the planet. So, you don't get to see any of that, it sounds pretty cool. And then you have to go cryo sleep 200 years to get back home. Now we are back home 200 years later, and it's all messed the up and parks terrible. The must wait. We have a new mission. We need to assess the strategic situation on Leave 6. Contact Vanguard Central Command and help them clean up this mess. Prepare for Planetfall, for the Vanguard, and for the Union. For the Vanguard, for the Union, Vincent Gladstone, start the game. Start the game. Interesting. Got someone right there. All kinds of stuff. <clears throat> With base camp set, we're ready to march out. Do I have to do a Vincent Gladstone voice? Maybe not. Down here, it's the same desolate image as in orbit. I'm doing one anyway. It's all desert and charred ruins. The tropical paradise Vanguard Central created for their soldiers gone to hell. 
Someone has been fighting a war here. The question is who and when. So far, none of our standard frequency calls have been answered. If there are any survivors, they are either cut off from communications or unwilling to talk. Time to search the old-fashioned way, with our laser rifles ready. Vincent Gladstone. Tapples. Beeps. <laughs> Beeps and ambles playfully. Would you look at that, Lieutenant Jiang? Your little friend is making himself comfortable in this rotten place. Yes, sir, but it's no surprise. My brother used to be stationed at one of the Leave 6 repair stations. This is where we assembled Tapples. He must be feeling he's close to his... Hey, Tapples! What do you think you're doing? The robot slips through one of the still unfinished sections of the camp wall and dashes straight into the desert. The, the, the choking fields? Oh, God. Search for survivors. Send out your owl scouts to look for any star union presence in the vicinity. I accept. The reward is influence. Find the alien ship. An unknown vessel has landed. Use your scout units or other fast moving units to complete it. Get some research and a gunship. Locate Tapples. Priority one. Find out where Lieutenant Jiang's pet pug has run off to. This is an adventure. Make sure to bring an army. Oh. Okay. Custerville is the name of our colony. We've got some domains. We've got Pepper's Peak. A research station with enemies in it. And... A barrack with a, a non-enemy in it. We have Lieutenant Jiang with two owl scouts. And we have Vincent Gladstone himself with a full squad. Well, full squad obviously has to move in on these, these fools. And we're gonna enter manual combat. Safe battle. We need the practice. We're gonna need the practice thinking tactically. I'm pretty bad at these games. I was really bad at XCOM, and this turns kind of XCOM-y once you start playing. The Independents. Moving in. I don't like the look of those guns. What can you tell me? They're purifiers? We've got purifiers and plasmoids and vanguard troopers. Oh, they've gone rogue. Okay, okay, okay. We've got Vincent. The assault bike. Where, where's your... We, okay, so we can get in cover safely. Let's do that. You can cover, put down some overwatches. There's perfect. You can sneak around, maybe. Hunker down there. Let's see. You guys can get to this cover. Lay down another overwatch. Can I rotate the camera? Ah, mouse wheel. It's kind of finicky. Okay, perfect. Get up here, take some, take some cover there. Laying down overwatches. I don't say I didn't learn anything from XCOM. I learned to take it slow, and abuse overwatches. And those are life lessons. There we go. End turn. Oh! Launching plasma bombs on my assault bike. Taking 7 damage. Taking 14 damage. Missing with my overwatch. 
grazing with my overwatch. My assault deck is getting so chewed. Oh my god. Okay. Backlash. What is Backlash? Uh, doesn't look like I have a way to learn. Fifty-nine percent chance. Fifty-one percent chance. It's not really cover back here to speak of. Save the assault bike. Save the assault bike by any means necessary. I think the backlash is like splash damage. So that, God damn it. My bike is taking splash damage. Widefield laser array. Doesn't really do more damage. It just has a, a splash. That's pretty cool. On a miss or a graze, I, they're going to hit me back. I'm gonna lose this bike on my first mission. I live. Okay. You have an overwatch out? No. Spreading out. Putting down overwatches. If they move at all, they're totally clowned. Maybe I should take more decisive action. Take it take a shot. You missed. That's fine. Alright. Ending turn. You can't can you move out of there? Oh. Oh. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, I lost the assault bike immediately. Vincent Gladstone's gonna be so disappointed. <clears throat> Advanced difficulty may have been a mistake. Fuck off. Jesus God. Enemy annihilated. It's dead. At last. You are also almost dead. Grenade range leaves something to be desired. Alright, just... Take a shot. Take a shot. Gotta do something. We grazed him. Are we? Are we not flanking them? There we go. There we go. Maybe we can get a flank here too. Oh yeah. Is that it? That's everyone? He's gonna come in and kill my commander. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's... Our leader shall return. He shall return. They respawn. Because I'm playing on Weenie Hut Jr. mode. So you guys just chase them around. 
and shoot him in the butt. Shoot him right in the butt. Nice. Real nice. Very nice. Enemy eliminated. We've got that going for us. It'll kill him totally. That's a flank too. Oh yeah. Other than the death Enemy of our killed. commander, that went our forces terribly because we also lost our assault bike. I warned you. He comes back with half health. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wish I had that assault bike. I bet. I got energy. And uh, we're in at Pepper's Peak. I don't know what that means for us. But there we are. We're gonna try to get over to these non-hostile folk. Empire Trooper. Stop, hold it right there. Filthy renegades. Return to your hovels immediately and we won't have to put you down like dogs. What is this madness, soldier? Is that how the returning crew of a sleeper mission is welcomed home these days? Step aside. Let me talk to your superiors. A sleeper mission? Impossible. There are no more ships arriving from the void. Don't lie to me. Ruby Squad, Emerald Squad, Sapphire Squad, you're all madmen. You know what? We'll let you speak with the Prefect. He'll show you how we deal with traitors. It's hard to believe these wretched creatures were once proud Star Union citizens. It talks about this in the little prologue thing. Uh, basically, the Star Union is the former society uh, that it was like a thousand planet utopia, basically, and then some kind of cataclysm befell them, and so now everything's shitty, I guess. I always felt the Paragon were going too far with their cybernetic enhancements, but this, are they even still human? The paramedics. So the uh, Paragon people are uh, the paramedics. It's like cybernetically enhanced. And what about calling us renegades? Have their brains gone rotten as well, or is there something more to this? Time to talk to their prefect. Vanguard Central Command will know what's going on. In the meantime, we should keep our eyes open for the commanders of Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire Squad they mentioned. They could be trouble. That's that's my Vincent voice right there. <laughs> Find the Vanguard Squad leaders. I can get my assault bike back. Mission, appease the Paragon Diplomacy. Uh, prove your good intentions, do some quests and stuff. Complete. Sure. Sure. Sure, sure. Can we make units? Can we make, uh... We can make another scout, we can make another trooper. We'll need... Tro we want more troopers. Okay. Orders required. Oh, it's still your turn. Great. Well? Is there a way to, like, heal people? If I go back to base, do my people heal? As far as you can go. Then there's you. Locating temples, we need an army for that. Unidentified forces detected. Oh, like all our quests are out here, so. We're just supposed to bring an army that way. She doesn't really have an army, she just has some like drones, so. Head back that way. End our turn. A message from Paragon. Ruffians, outlaws, and thugs. How dare they oppose the will of Paragon? While we struggle to feed the children of our land, these robbers plunder and steal, causing the poor to suffer. There is no future in this. Vincent Gladstone, will you rid us of their menace? Think of the children. I accept. We just need more units. I'm just kind of assuming that they'll heal here. 
We'll see. We'll see what happens. You... Okay, so now there's two objectives out here. She can't fight. She doesn't have an army, really. She's more scouting, so... Oh, set some military research. Nanite support, I'm pretty sure that's all... Yeah, that's like healing stuff. I definitely, definitely want that. Research that. Quantum powered molecular machines are not magic, they're science. But the uncertainty principle dictates that if I explain to you exactly how it works, it'll stop working that way. So just trust me, it's not magic, it's just probabilistic, quantum state driven subatomic machines. Everything. Stanley Strangelove, publicist, small tech enterprises. That's a, like a healing action. That's a heal zone you can drop. And that's like a, a buff sort of thing. Or an anti-debuff or so. Oh, it's probably just about to tell me to do that. I'm, we're already doing that. I'm already doing that. Do I have to search something else? research multiple things. Like, can I research all of them? Costs energy. Oh, okay, so we just spent a bunch of energy. This is fine. Society research. Frontier. It recommends frontier facilities. That's a rec dome. Military infrastructure and a colonizer. I accept this recommendation. These cost energy as well. How much energy do I have? I just see I have plus 25. So probably I won't be able to. I'm confused. Alright. Our colonies require the means to protect themselves and a reason to stay. At the very least, it's time to invest in some good old fashioned guns and beer. Guns Dollar and Smith, beer. Dollar Smith, Deneb Colony Mayor. This is definitely Vincent Gladstone's colony. Oh, it's just done. Okay, let's do food development next. Okay, so you can only have one selected at a time. Okay. Okay. And turn. Ba -da -ba. Energy Conservation Repository. Let's have you... Can you get all the way down there? Yep. Are you, are you out of actions now, though? Where does it show their actions? Oh, that's a battle. That's a battle against high risk. Never mind. Don't mind us. <laughs> um, you did heal. Excellent. I have no idea if that was just because a turn passed or if because you were at a research station. I should have gone there. That's okay. We'll be back. Out of move points. And turn. Am I, um... Hmm. I thought I had a trooper that would be ready. What does the one mean? I 
I do not know. Let's get into something we do know. Pork will- oh, he picked up the troopers that, um, finished while he was standing there. They joined his army automatically. Okay. Because I had a dead bike man. Low risk. Okay. Manual combat anyway. <laughs> so that I can fuck it up. The bugaboos are inbound. Quartzite. Liquid flame. Quartzite. Liquid crystal. They can... How much information do they give me here? Their health, they have armor, they have magma spit and flame chet. Still unsure if this is their move range or if it's their attack range. It looks kind of like our move range, but I'm always unpleasantly surprised by how far the enemy can in fact move and attack, so... Maybe we just try to play real conservative. Let them come to us. Yes. Yes. We'll just plant everybody all around and set up overwatches. Maybe that's not ideal for this game. Maybe you can't be so passive in this as you can in, uh, like, XCOM. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong. I would not be surprised. Overwatch. <laughs> oh, okay, I can... Oh, using, using the hotkeys. I'm a real pro gamer now. Pro gamer. Five. Overwatch. And you will go here. And we'll just see what they do. And turn. Operations ready. They stood their ground. Damn it. Alright. Move up. Does it make sense for you to Take a shot? Do you have a shot? Not Overwatch. Just 33%. Not good. Can you get a grenade in there? Nope. Well, maybe we do just want to Overwatch and when they move out of cover, get them right in the bugaboo. It's cover there, huh? Exposed. But I've got a shot now. Nice. Cool. Coo -coo 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 -coo. Well, these are like gunner nests. That's ideal. 28%. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna blast him when he comes out. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Shot, you do take it. Good contact, good contact. Okay, you can get here. All around half cover. Lay down a similar overwatch. And you will just kind of approach. You're gonna lead this way. This is how you lead. Ah, uh, the grenade range leaves something to be desired. So we'll just overwatch again. I would be okay with turns automatically ending, but, uh... Okay, end turn. Overwatch is trigger. We're grazing him. Only one came out? Oh no, because it's dead. A 
That does a lot of damage. Chain lightning. Chain lightning. It's all grazes, but Jesus. Nice, you miss. You suck. Yes, kill. Enemy neutralized. Are these guys together? A grenade would hit both of them. Fuck, no! Right- oh. Right click is the confirm for everything in this game and I'm so not used to it. That was a waste. That was foolish. But these guys aren't really melee threats, so getting close... You can throw it, like, one tile away. It's your, your maximum range. Don't throw it! So he'd have to come all the way up to, like, here. I don't know if that it you know what if it doesn't hit then I'll just take the flank shot. That's fine. Okay. It's a stagger. Hopefully that's good. Sure hope that was worth it. That certainly was. Enemy eliminated. I want you to like Fall back. That's the move. Falling back. Because you are on actual fire. And then you guys come. You can make it all the way over here and take a flanking shot. I like that. Cool. I accept this. They focus fire. They want to kill him. Unit has fallen. Folks feel pretty disposable in this game. Enemy killed. Enemy killed. 45. Can I flank here? 50. A graze. And a hit. Probably take him out this round, I think. Just get in there, man. Boom. Kill him. Oh. Jesus. Okay. I just need one more shot. Like that. Enemy For the enemy. vanguard. They never stood a chance. Only lost one. Oh. The troopers. Never forget. Old jetpack. Jump to the target location. Infantry hero units. Um. Our boy is getting a jetpack. Is it a mod? <laughs> yes. Take that. Take the heal. It costs energy and. Might. It's rare. Confirm. Ooh. Primary weapon slot. Oh, you can just go in. Balls out. <laughs> Close. So the troopers can be equipped with the nanite injectors as well. 
And I think I will do that for like two of them for now. And they can just be the ones who head up front. They become replenished. It gives you like an automatic class name from depending on what mods you give them, which is kind of cool. Uh, they also are vulnerable for a round after... This, this came up in the tutorial. They become vulnerable while they're like... When you add mods and stuff for one turn. Hero characters can just do it, but uh, these guys become like... Okay, yeah, they become disabled while they're upgrading, so... More enemies there. One turn until that comes out. And I can also just grow troopers as ones having the nanite now, which is pretty cool. But I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, we'll continue exploring the map and stuff in the next episode. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching. Again, a uh, lot to learn about these kind of games. A uh, lot to learn about doing Let's Plays. This is my first one, so... It's probably going to be a pretty chill tone, probably a lot of shite decision making, and uh, should be good. So, if you're into that, you can subscribe, and if not, then it was nice having you around, and yeah, take it easy.